Hi, future Mustangs. Welcome to the Department of Physiology and Pharmacology. My name is Dr. Anita Woods, and I am the undergraduate chair of our department. And together with my colleagues and current students, we'd like to give you a preview of what it's like to be a student in the department and at Western. Hello, my name is Frank Bayer. I am the chair of the Department of Physiology and Pharmacology. And I thank you for your interest in our program. Now, physiology is really the science of how the body works. And pharmacology is the science of drugs that we can use to, to modify these body functions, for example, to treat uh, diseases. Now, we have a very large program. Uh, we're the largest basic science department in the Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry. Uh, we have the largest undergraduate program from the different departments. And we offer a large variety of courses. This includes introductory courses early on, along with a large number of specialty courses where we talk about physiology and pharmacology, for example, in the heart and in the blood vessels or in the skeleton. Overall, uh, a large variety of courses. Uh, we have fantastic faculty, in particular, we have outstanding teaching faculty, along with great staff, along with graduate students who work as teaching assistants. There's a lot of strengths to our program and I welcome you to check it out. Thank you. Hello, my name is Tom Stabracki and I'm a faculty member in the Department of Physiology and Pharmacology. And I have the best job in the world because for the past 30 years, I have been teaching human physiology to undergraduate students. I also run two of our third year undergraduate courses in human physiology, Physiology 3120, which is a detailed course in human physiology. And I also run our third year student labs. With this short video, I'd like to give you a virtual tour of our student labs and you can see that running in a slideshow in our background right now. We design these labs not just to reinforce the material students get in their third year physiology course or pharmacology course, but we're also teaching you how to do scientific research. And at the same time, we're teaching you the most recent cutting edge techniques that are performed in research labs around the world. The experiments that you would be performing in the labs are not what we generally call cookbook style activities, where the students follow a series of steps through one to 10 and come out with some output at the end. Rather, we want you to have a significant input into the experiments that you're conducting. So we put you into small groups of six to eight students, you have a graduate student teaching assistant who generally comes from our department and you also have the help of a faculty member who is supervising the experiment itself. With these people you will design an experiment as any researcher would do. You would come up with a question you want to investigate. From that question you would develop a hypothesis and then from the hypothesis you would design your experiment. With your other colleagues in your group, you would then conduct that experiment, analyze the data, and like any scientific researcher, you would then present your findings that could be in a paper, it could be in a poster presentation, or even a short oral presentation in front of a small audience. And we feel that these labs give you a very unique and memorable learning experience throughout your university life. How do I know that? Well. It was actually this very course when I was an undergraduate that got me excited about studying the human body and how it works. Uh, because of that, I went on to graduate school and then became a faculty member in this department. And like I said, that was a long time ago. That was 30 years ago. So I hope you consider Western as your destination to learn and grow. And maybe we'll see you at some point in your future studies. Hi hey there, I'm Dr. Angela Baia. I teach in a number of courses at Western and I have the privilege of being the course coordinator for our undergraduate thesis program. Many students in our program do go on to do their honor specialization in physiology or in pharmacology, or they combine both disciplines and do a physiology and pharmacology degree. Now, what makes the Honor Specialization Program unique is that students will work in a research lab beside a faculty member and their other trainees working on a project that no one else in the world is working on. 
So we teach them great communication, how to give a good oral presentation, how to do a great written report. We also teach them many other skills besides the research skills that they're getting in the lab. Now I say this is a privilege because this in fact was the very program that I graduated from. I did my honor specialization in physiology, my first exposure to research, and I have never looked back. It's an amazing program and students tell me that it's the highlight of their fourth year. Hello everyone, my name is Fabiana Crowley. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Physiology and Pharmacology and I am the Physiology and Pharmacology lead for the undergraduate medical education program here in Shoe Lake. You might be wondering what can I do with a degree in Physiology and Pharmacology? There are many career pathways that you can take with a degree in Phys Farm. You might decide to stay in academia like myself and become a, sci a scientist or become a full-time professor you might decide to go to industry and you can work in biotechnology companies, you can work for pharmaceutical companies, you can become a scientific writer, and you can also work for companies that run clinical trials. Or you might decide to go to professional schools. A degree in physiology and pharmacology will provide you with an excellent background for professional schools related to healthcare, for example, medicine dentistry, pharmacy, nursing, and others. So there are many options that you can go, that you can follow with a degree in physiology and pharmacology. So students, Temi, Patrick, thanks for joining me today. A question for you, why did you choose Western and Phys Farm or both? So I chose Western because I came to visit during the fall house and obviously you guys can't really do that right now. But when I came, I saw that the environment here in the community was so, so wonderful. I saw the professors really cared about their students, and that was really warm, and, like heartwarming for me. And um, I chose this farm because I took the second year pharmacology course, and I found it really interesting to learn about different mechanisms of actions of different drugs and how um, learning about physiology works together with that. And that's why I chose this farm as my department. How about you, Patrick? Yeah, so I kind of took a little bit of a different path. I was involved in the WISE program actually in my final year of high school. So I got a little bit of a sneak peek before actually coming to Western. In regards to physiology and pharmacology, I really wanted a challenge. And I feel like there's so much to do in this module. I know a lot of kids come into medical science and they're like, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a pharmacist. But through this module, I mean, there's so many other career paths. And so both Patrick and Temi are currently in thesis labs. How's it going? So for me, it's going pretty well. Um, I'm working remotely from home because of COVID, but so far I'm getting a lot of support from the faculty members that I'm working with and um, learning a lot of new things. And it's pretty interesting the way the thesis works when it's remotely, but I'm still getting a lot from the, from the experience. I get a lot of data um, and I have to do a lot of literature reviews and research in order to understand the data and then analyze it. And Patrick, how's that thesis working out for you so far? It has just started, but I'm loving every second of it. One of the really unique things about Fizz Farm is that the contributions that you're making are actually making a real difference in the health of patients, like in real life, which I think is so cool. And I think it's something that when you come into this program, I think everyone wants to help people. About Western, is there a highlight or a fond memory you have so far? I think we focus a lot on the academics. And for me, having that healthy balance with, you know, by school and also being involved in the community is really important. Um, so please get out there and find out what Western has to offer you. There's so many things. I know I got involved with orientation pretty early on. I would say like one of the, one of the highlights for me, even though it sounds pretty weird, was um, during COVID, ha seeing how quickly everything turned around and how quickly like people and professors like worked together in order to make the experience end up on a good note. That, that to me is a kind of a highlight. Thank you both for joining me today. Uh, it's wonderful to speak to students and until the time we go back to our classroom. Here's a little clip from one of my uh, favorite lectures in our human physiology course. Uh, and we're going to see how that's going to depolarize. Remember what happens when you depolarize, it becomes very positive and then it repolarizes, right? That depolarization, of course, is going to do what to the next area? It's going to cause that. There we go. This is a pretty smart nerve. Okay. So, well, what I'm going to do, we're going to see how this works. It's the first time this nerve has ever fired, so I may not get it quite right. All right. Ready and stimulate. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Fantastic. Oh, wait. That's okay. You can do it. 
Junction and splinter. That's exactly what would happen. Nothing wrong with that. 